Hi, before modeling the parametric timing pulley, we need to gather dimensions of the tooth profile and equations for the parameterization. I do not own a full copy of the ISO 50296 standard. My school gave me access to some old version, and it isn't even complete. So I had to search on Google and found website of a manufacturer who provides tooth profile dimensions in their catalog. This is the website. There is a section with timing pulleys and belts. I selected MXL, XLL, and H type and downloaded their specifications in PDFs. Other two or three types should exist, but this manufacturer doesn't have them in listing. Other types are XXL, XH, and XXH. I found them on website of a Chinese manufacturer, but his dimensions are a bit off, so I won't be using these types in modeling. After downloading the specifications, I created tables with dimensions for each type. This table contains the constant dimensions for all the types. This table contains the minimal needed width of the pulley. The specifications and standards I saw all use different symbols for each dimension, so I created my simple drawing where you can see the dimensions and what they mean. I will be focusing only on timing pulleys with two flanges. Now we will look how we can calculate the dimensions we need. Here you can see equations for pitch, tooth head and tooth foot diameters. Here you can see equations for defining the flanges. I don't know exact equations for two of the diameters of the flanges, so I used linear regression, calculated approximation functions, and created a table with the coefficients. If you need exact dimensions, you can always rewrite the equation and input exact numbers from the tables. Now we can prepare equations for SOLIDWORKS. This is a simple step. The equations are written similarly to Excel equations. Here are the independent parameters. Their values are almost constant for one type of tooth size and profile. Here are the dependent parameters with their equations. Some parameters from the tables are dependent on tooth number. I have marked them in red color. We can change them by hand or write more complicated formulas into SOLIDWORKS. We can use of statements to change their values when tooth number reaches some given threshold. This is how our equations should look like. In the next part I will show you how to set up the equations and model the timing pulley in SOLIDWORKS.